All right, let's talk about some guest enhancements and uh, you know things that you can put in place to improve your customer service scores. So you should uh, you should have a customer service meeting every single week with your managers and or an associate from each department. And it should be a meeting of the minds. It should break down the customer service scores, the um, some of the comments, where you are in relation to your goal, and uh, and everyone should talk about their respective areas, what they're doing, what they're doing to uh, work towards the mission, uh, some challenges that they have, some positives that they have, some thoughts they have that are um, maybe making a challenge challenging to perform at a high level in terms of producing results, right? So, uh, for example, the front desk might have a challenge with room readiness, um, and they might, you know, be bringing that to the housekeeping op operation attention um, to say, you know what, guys, like we're having a problem with room readiness, and then providing the details on what may help them, right? So rather than crushing another department and saying, uh, rooms aren't ready so we can't get good scores. Rather than that negative attitude or that uh, throwing someone under the bus doesn't doesn't help anyone just to make you look better, saying, you know, to the, the here's my thoughts. We usually have problems or we've been having problems with sweeps. Uh, we only have 25 sweeps in the resort. Can we get the sweeps cleaned earlier in the morning so that we have that in our arsenal. So when a, a guest, a loyalty guest is checking in, we have that ready. Because the other rooms, the standard rooms, we can mix those around. We can move those around. But the suites, a guest that books a three bedroom suite, we don't have many other three bedroom suites. We either have that room for them or we don't. And if it gets to check in time and we don't have that room ready, we're scrambling, the guest can become enraged if their room is not ready and things of that nature, right? So have a positive discussion, be in unison on one accord in working towards the mission and building momentum towards that mission. Um, and everyone speaks, all right? And there's a, there's a gatekeeper. There's, there's a, you know, there's someone, could be the HR manager, could be the, uh, um, the customer service champion could be the general manager. Someone sends out those notes, what everyone said that they were going to do. And then the next week, we talk about, did we do it? You know, great, front office, you're working on this. Great, you have challenges with room readiness, with the suites being ready. Housekeeping, uh, they said they're going to um, have the supervisors check the suites at 10.30, 11 o'clock in the morning. First thing, as soon as checkout comes. And then they're going to uh, punch the rooms in and, you know, Great. It's been a week since we said all that. Housekeeping. How's it going? Great. Thank you for that. Front office. How's it going? Is it helping? Great. And you keep it moving, right? But there needs to be accountability to it. All right. So let's talk about some enhancements and, and um, guest service um, best practices that you can do. All right. Best practices of what you can do to get great customer service scores. Each department should have a GSS guest service uh, scores, you know, awareness board, right? So, and I'll I'll send I'll send out some some pictures um, and information. I'll put it in the description box. Give me some time to do it. I'm traveling right now, uh, but I'll throw that in the box coming up um, in the next couple of days. And 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 what the board consists of? Very simple. All right, you got your goals of your numbers. Overall satisfaction, right? Your inner department goals of, you know, housekeeping room cleanliness, housekeeping room overall for your housekeeping department, right? Um, bathroom maintenance overall, right? That falls under that, that housekeeping umbrella. Um, what are the scores updated at each day? And what is your goal for the month, right? Then you have on the top left, top performers, recent comments. And then you write it in, great job, Billy. The guests, and then you put the actual comments on there, right? You also are emailing out these comments and sharing them at the pre-ship meetings, um, the things, the things of that nature, and you're sharing that at the, the customer service meeting as well. Um, so each department and each manager should be updating that board 
And if you're the general manager or the operations manager, just make sure everyone's doing it. Because what I found in hotels, um, the consistency falls off after a while, right? There needs to be that enthusiasm for it every single day, a cheerleader, so to speak, for each department, right? And do your pre-shift meetings at that board. Say, guys, here's our top tips you know, for the, for the week of what we're focused on. We want to get our elite loyalty score up this month. So remember, we're thanking the guests. We're welcoming the guests back. It tells you on the notes if they're, if they're returning guests. And we're thanking them for their loyalty for their 20-second trip to our hotel or whatever the case may be, whatever information you have. And then that, what that does is it ensures that there's an awareness to it, there's a, uh, that it happens, and things of that nature. So that's the best practice, all right? Number one, have a board, have your pre-shifts at it, um, share the information, positive reinforcement, thank the people for high performance, let them know in relation to where we stand uh, from our team goal, from the hotel overall goal, and then remind them of whatever's going on. Remind them of, remember guys, there's an incentive for each time you get your name mentioned, or if we hit our goal, where everyone gets $20 gift cards, or, or we're having a huge pizza party, or we're going to the water park for the department, or, or our department's going bowling. And you can even have some um, team competition with the housekeeping and front office department, or versus the restaurant. Restaurant overall score versus housekeeping, cleanliness overall score. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna be the champion of the month? Which department, right? Get, get your team to, in a friendly uh, way, have some pride uh, of what they're doing and of the end of the goals. And then you remind them of, you know, certain challenges and how we're gonna overcome those challenges. You're guiding and you're coaching your team all along the way and you're running a guest service business. Each department manager is running a, a guest service business and each, each manager should know their business. Know your business in terms of the positives, negatives, challenges, the analytics, of how the customer service scores work, um, the foundation of it, um, and, and know what makes up the score, right? What's the percentage of a guest that gets a survey if they're gonna fill it out? You know, uh, what's what's the leisure guest versus the business traveler, you know, score is saying. What's our score on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, versus Saturday and Sunday? Why are our scores low on Saturday and Sunday, right? You gotta really understand your, um, your business. If you get a front desk customer customer service agent that consistently gets sevens and eights out of tens, and no comments on it, right? You need to bridge the gap. You need to figure out, um, based upon observing, looking at the information, and your knowledge of what makes up a good interaction, and you need to use that information to best as possible um, improve in that area. In the area, in, and if that if, if it is that example, someone getting sevens and eights out of tens, with no comments, it's usually that the guest perceives that the media, that the service is mediocre, or maybe it wasn't enough oomph or personalization. And you know you need to to coach that associate. All right, that brings me to my next point about best practice uh, with guest service, which is a similar area of coaching the associates along the way. Um, what I created, and I can send any of any of this information to you if you would like, out of the kindness of my heart, uh, is create what's called a performance review recap um, of how each associate's doing. It's very easy to do in, in the front office or housekeeping. And how it, how it goes is, you know, if Billy has checked in 40 guests during the month, that filled out a survey, and Billy is the one that you see that, that checked in the guests. Uh, of those 40 guests, you want to make a, a sheet that shows every single comment and guess all on an Excel sheet, 40 guests, and each each line of what they said, what they scored each area, and then you want to analyze the data, and then you want to break down the data and um, provide some commentary t towards it and ultimately coach the associate in a recap um, at the end of the month and then and then give them a, a guidance going into the next month coach them based upon their performance 
good or bad or a mixture and then coach them you know on how to how to improve or, or what we need to tweak what we need to be flexible with um, so if you do have that information it'll be very easy to you know create that commentary and that to analyze that data and to help that associate improve and basically you'll be able to look at the data of each person's check-in score rating right of that associate their overall satisfaction score um, their elite loyalty score if the guest scored on that the comments and you're looking for trends of so the comments and the scores and um, and then you utilize that information to you know produce the positives the weaknesses and how we can improve so what was that what was that front desk agents overall score out of 40 uh, guests how did they compare to the rest of the team are they middle of the pack are they higher of the pack are they lowest are they the lowest you know of the scoring associates right only when you have that information collected the full month um, then you can then you can move forward and analyze and, and strive to improve but it's a it's a powerful thing when you when you can sit down with an associate and say all right Billy here's what we got here's your paper here's your here's your monthly breakdown right have some fun with it right say here's what all the guests said um, here's your overall score for check-in um, here's where it compares here's where you rank uh, among all the you know uh, uh, front desk associates and here's your strengths and then here's some certain trends so the trends could be check-in was you know not informative right so three or four guests said that then it's very simple to, to say and you, and you let them know that you know we're, we're gonna talk about you know how we can improve um, on some trends and some challenges and, and how we can tweak it because you're doing a great job with these areas and your score is overall really good where I think you can improve on these areas to not have that perception of check-in was not informative is because it is is this way is by giving them all the amenities um, and letting them know that you are there to help them through the course of their stay with anything that they may need there's a ton to do in the area we have our concierge here uh, there's a lot of amenities here you give them a pamphlet of everything that's listed and you, you, you coach them on some little little tweaks uh, little inclusions um, that are going to help them combat that perception of that and you let the, you let you let Billy know Billy look there's a lot to get through and out of 40 guests three guests at it and you score overall so you're doing good Billy this is how these comments won't come up and uh, you know again we're talking about that going into the next month and things like that right but the employee will buy in more so if you can hand them that recap and show them the actual comments from every guest uh, that, that checked in or check, checked in with them and that they were that they had their name tied to uh, in the system all right so you know that that's the other thing and and obviously um, if it's an isolated incident a comment you take it with a grain of salt if that's not that uh, employees usual comments and if it's one out of 40 um, and maybe the guest just was in a bad mood all right but you're looking for trends you're looking uh, for, th for things uh, that you can use to better coach that associate towards uh, consistently helping the hotel produce better customer service scores you got to get each associate to do their best job in the best way they can do it and this is one tool uh, on how you will you know uh, achieve that and work towards that that result all right so that's another best practice so what else can you put in place to give yourself a better chance well, how can you grease the skid so to speak all right how can you increase the chances that they will fill out a better survey because we talked about it um, that a guest may fill out a survey if they get a survey about 20% chance all right it's so about a 20% chance based upon uh, looking at the numbers the last few years of big corporations and, and hotel survey management companies uh, of the different platforms about a 20% chance if they get a survey um, so with that with that being said how can you increase the chances 
that they will fill out a survey if they get it, right? Be compelling, offer them a better experience than they thought they that they would get. Give them a plus one, all right? Give them give them something unexpected. It can be a little thing. It could be as simple as how you personalize your service and things of that nature, right? All right, so let's say your goal is one of my hotels, we had uh, a big challenge with elite loyalty guests. These were guests with high expectations, right? And we wanted to do better with these guests because overall, if we, if we improved in, the, in this area, the rest of our scores at this one particular hotel that I'm speaking of, the rest of the scores were solid. And this was pulling us down. And this was affecting us from getting great scores. And these are guests that have the highest expectations and are, are the biggest challenges, the biggest challenge in terms of getting a great score consistently. So we said, all right, let's put, let's put something into place to better take care of uh, these guests. Now, you can't give everyone everything and you can't, um, you can't put $50 into every single guest or you'll run out of money of every single elite loyalty guest. But what you can do is you can say, all right, Wednesday night, all the elite loyalty guests that check in, they get a special welcome bag. They get a special welcome bag with their name on it and thanks them for the return. Or you put it in the room and you write a personal note card to them, right? So this could be Wednesday night and this could be, you could have 50 of these guests. All right, let's say 50, all right? So if you do this every Wednesday night, at the end of the month, you'll have 200 guests that you enhanced what their experience and, and you gave them something unexpected, right? So you, you know the number of what you spent to make the welcome bags, you budgeted that number, and you have 200 elite guests that stay with you at the end of the month that, that, that had a plus one experience. So they got something unexpected or something better than or something personal right so you're increasing the chances of impressing the guests which is the mission right when we talk about guest service enhancement um, that's what we're, we're looking for a number that we can say at the end of the month we did this this and this we increased or we enhanced the guest experience of these type of guests with this many guests right and then you measure the results did it help did you get any comments on it you know and things of that nature right another example of this will be called guests of the day you can now what I found to be most successful and again this raises awareness to the guest service um, culture and the pre-shift and, and, and the mission, get everyone to buy in. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, you, you, you allow each associate, let's say the front desk for example, each associate can pick their own guest of the day where you give them a free appetizer, you give them some bonus elite loyalty points, right? You let each associate and you tell them at the pre-shift, remember, Billy, Joey, Timmy, Sarah, three guests each, I want you to pick a guest of the day. We're doing 12 guests of the day to that, right? They get a free appetizer, you write their name on it, and say, Mr. Jones, guess what? You're the guest of the day today. Congratulations, I've selected you, you know, and, and you have some fun with it. You, you teach them different ways that they can do it. You know, hey, Mr. Jones, I know you're having a tough day with the, with the flights and everything. I wanted to do something nice for you. I decided to make you the guest of the day. Put some bonus points in your account. Give you free appetizer in our restaurant. Take this card with you. Thank you so much for staying with us. We appreciate you. Hope the day gets better. Hope this helps, right? So you give them some tools to allow them to offer better customer service schools, all right? Um, or if you want to micromanage the mission, the numbers at the end of the month, or who, who it's going to uh, accomplish, and you want it to go to the elite loyalty, that's where you say uh, to the front desk team, guys, remember, elite loyalty, all right? It is our number one goal. Our last month, our score was 48%. The brand wants us to be at 63. We want to be at 72, whatever your goal is, right? Tell the, tell the associates, 
All right. Each each of you guys pick three people. We're doing 12 tonight guests of the day, right? So whatever the case may be, if it is that much, you're being really aggressive. 12 a day, I think, is really aggressive. Most of the hotels do about five a day. Um, but, but whatever. If it, it doesn't cost you much to do little things like give, give some bonus points out and, and things of that nature. It doesn't cost much. At the end of the month, you'll know how many people that you enhance this experience with, with the guests of the day, right? So if you do five a day, right, um, at the end of the month, you know, you'll have um, 150, um, yeah, yeah, you'll have 150 um, enhanced guests. So we're a guest of the day. Um, now, if you want to do something else, you want to get the other departments involved, you want to get everyone to do their part, housekeeping can also provide a, a great deal of that wow factor, right? So they can, the housekeepers, you can teach them how to put personalizing notes in the room, a little candy bar. Uh, sir, ma'am, thank you so much, you teach the housekeeper or you help them write it. Thank you for staying with us, we appreciate it, we hope you, um, Enjoy the cleanliness of your room. You can even get print up some cards, some little business cards that say this, and you get the housekeeper to write their name on it with the with the chocolate cards. And same thing, you know, know the number at the end of the month, right? So if you have a few programs like this, um, guest of the day, housekeeping personalization cards, elite loyalty gift bags, right? You know, 200, 150. Um, housekeeping is going to hit. 300 people by the end of the month, right? Then you know, all right, we got 200 here, we got 150, we got 300 here. Now you got 650 guests that you've enhanced their experience. This is, and then you got to know for your budgetary explanation for your PL, how much money you spent on the program, on guest service. Um, and then you got to be able to know your business. Did it help? Measure the results. Um, Change things up the next month if you need to. You can have a, a, a thing like fortune fortune cookies, uh, where you let the guests, elite loyalty, pick a fortune cookie, and you get the personalized fortune cookies. There's a ton of websites that you can do that at. We had high levels of success doing it. Um, and and the same thing, know your number. All right. Um, so that that's a big one. Have fun with it. But this goes and correlates to, um, you know the culture of providing the best possible service of everyone doing their part to build the pipeline of pens um, and, and getting everyone to buy into the mission, right? This correlates. So these are these are a couple good tips. I have a lot more. Um, well, you know, please subscribe and uh, stay tuned for some more videos. I, I also have a ton of articles and uh, which, which, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll paste my website in the description box. Uh, where you can get all my content and tips and, and secrets of my 15 year plus hotel management career where I've, I've put up some of the best numbers you will ever see in terms of customer satisfaction. Um, and these are some of the proven ways on how to do it, on how to get great customer service scores. Uh, and the, the last thing I want to say, the only way to get great customer service scores is to provide the best possible customer service and to try to do it. All right. You're not going to get great customer service scores unless there's a mindfulness of this, right? And everyone's got to be mindful in each interaction so that, again, the guest perception after that interaction is pleasant, positive, wonderful, where they perceive the interaction as, you know, oh, they took great care of me. That was so thoughtful. That was so wonderful. Oh, they made things easy for me. All things of that nature, all right? So thank you so much for listening, subscribing, uh, liking the video, commenting. I appreciate it. Um, if you are interested in, in uh, having me come out to your hotel or doing a video conference call, send me an email, andrewfrytravel at gmail, A-N-D-R-E-W-F-R-E-Y, travel at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Have fun with it. Embrace the fact that the customer service never ends, and that's the best part.